Hey guys, in today's video, I'll tell you the top 5 things you should do in the first C. This video will tell you things to prioritize, do, and hopefully speed up your game progression. So make sure to like and subscribe, and let's begin. Grinding levels in the first C is extremely important since your main priority should be getting to the second C fast. One of the biggest grinding mistakes a beginner could make is following the compass. If you don't know what the compass, or log pose for One Piece nerds like me, it basically guides you to new quests you can do. If you don't know how the log pose works, it goes red every time a new quest is available. Since I got to level 10, I could fight the new enemies, which is why the compass slash log pose went red. Now you should usually avoid the compass since it usually directs you to the wrong enemies to grind. Islands like the prison island is a huge no when it comes to grinding the enemies, not the bosses. The enemies are very spread out, which makes them annoying and bad to grind with. The prisoners and dangerous prisoners have huge gaps from each other, making them bad to grind with. I would recommend avoiding the prisoner island, but if you're doing a boss hopping strategy, don't avoid it. So when you're grinding, make sure to grind close up enemies, even if the newer quests give a bit more experience but have gapped enemies. The compass is still useful if you're new to the game and need the compass to guide you to new islands. Since I know almost all first C beginners won't have the location of the islands memorized. Anyway, another great way to grind experience is by boss hopping. Boss hopping is just defeating bosses for more experience, then leaving and rejoining a new server for the boss to spawn. Sadly, if you use a console such as Xbox to play Blocks Fruits, this method won't work for you. Aside from that, here's an example of how you do the boss hopping strategy. Anyway, I think you get the point. When you server hop, make sure to scroll down a lot, otherwise there's a high chance it'll say the server is full. So yeah, make sure to grind efficiently. Fighting styles are a very vital part of Block's Fruits, so it's recommended to get a good fighting style. Sadly, in the first C, you won't have access to great fighting styles such as God Human, Shark Man Karate, etc. But you can get fighting styles such as Dark Step and upgrade it into Death Step once you reach the second C. For the first C, I would say the best fighting style would be Water Kung Fu. To get the fighting style, first head to the underwater city. If you don't know where it is, it's located near the prison island. Anyway, once you've found it, go into this whirlpool. Now follow me to find the NPC which sells the Water Kung Fu fighting style. Go to the right of the Water Mansion. Head into this secret room. You can then buy Water Kung Fu for 750,000 peli slash money. The skills are pretty good for the first C. By the way, all the fighting styles in the first C can be upgraded into their V2 form once you reach the second slash third C. The Water Kung Fu fighting style can be upgraded into Shark Man Karate in second C. You need to have 400 mastery and like 2 million money and 5000 fragments, but we don't talk about that. All the V2 fighting styles are better than their V1 forms, so when you reach the second slash third C, make sure to upgrade your fighting styles. Shout out to this subscriber. He's been subbed since I had 1000 subscribers. Anyway, make sure to always be using a good fighting style such as Water Kung Fu. The special abilities in the first C are extremely important to unlock. I'm talking about the abilities the Ability Teacher, also known as Rayleigh from One Piece, gives you. To find Rayleigh, you need to go into a secret cave located in Frozen Village. It's located near the houses. You can buy 3 special abilities from Rayleigh. Air Jump just lets you jump more times. Aura, also known as Armament Hockey, buffs your defense and attack. Here's an example of the Armament Hockey in action. 61.2 damage taken, without hockey. 43.3 damage taken, with hockey. 2078 damage dealt, 
without hockey, 2435 damage dealt, with hockey, so yeah, as you can see, armament hockey is very important, so make sure it's always on. Also, when you buy the aura slash armament hockey, you will spawn with stage 1 of the hockey. I was using stage 5, the final stage, of the hockey, which meant I had the max amount of extra damage and defense. The typical blocks fruits player should have stage 5 hockey by the time they reach 2nd C. If you wanna know more about armament hockey and how to get stage 5 hockey even faster, you can watch this video I made. The final hockey flash step is basically just limited teleportation. You can teleport to areas, but you have a very small radius of teleportation. Radius increases with the human race, the teleportation radius is literally so small, so don't expect the teleportation radius to be insane. It only costs 130,000 money slash pally, so make sure to buy all 3 special abilities when you can. The Instinct Hockey, also known as Observation Hockey, is one of the most important things to get in Blocks Fruits, not just the first C. This hockey turns your screen a bit dark, just like mine, but gives you the ability to dodge enemy attacks. The number of dodges you can do depends on your Observation Hockey level. Without any buffs, the max dodges you can get are 8. To get more dodges, you can get Human V2 for one extra dodge, but that's not an option since that's only possible in second C. You can also equip the Pale Scarf accessory for 2 extra dodges, but you can only obtain that accessory in the 3rd C. So yeah, there are sadly no possible ways to get extra dodges in the 1st C. To buy the Observation Hockey, you need to have 750,000 money slash pelly. Then go to this temple, it's located on the upper Sky P Island, you can then buy the hockey from the Instinct Teacher, also known as Usopp. Anyway, the observation hockey I'm using is the V2 form, which means I have more observation sight and a less dark slash blurry screen. You shouldn't worry about getting observation hockey V2, since that's only unlockable in the third C. But if you do want to worry about it and plan for the future stuff, I made a guide on how to get observation hockey V2, feel free to watch it. Anyway, yeah, make sure to unlock observation hockey as soon as you can. Now, for the most crucial, and most important thing to get in the first C, it's eating the light fruit. The light fruit is the best fruit for the first C due to its insane movement speed and skills. It has the second fastest movement in the game, the first being the Enforcer Boat from the Luxury Boats Game Pass. But I know most of you guys won't have enough Robux to buy the Game Pass. Even though this is the awakened version of the V skill, the skills of the light fruit are great, AOE, and damage. This fruit also has an insane awakening. These are the awakened skills, even a fruit like Buddha isn't better for grinding than light fruit, only in the first C. Buddha is the best grinding fruit when you awaken the Z skill, and awakening fruits can only be done in the second slash third C. So make sure you get the light fruit. I'd like to give the saber sword an honorable mention. This is the best sword in the first C if you don't have enough robux for the dark blade. If you want to unlock the saber sword, you have to do a puzzle. So here's a quick guide of the puzzle, I wouldn't recommend using this as a guide, since it'll be speedrun. And yeah, that's the Shanks quest in a speedrun nutshell. Make sure to get this sword if you want to be a sword main and don't have enough robux for the dark blade. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. If this video has helped you with what to do in the first C, make sure to like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyways, bye.